Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the July Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. So, uh, I am trying to watch the new Marvel movie. I uh, was it Love and Hammer or something like this. Um, so we'll see how, how long I, I get in this video. But, uh, but yeah, let me know if you're watching that movie or how you're doing in general. Uh, you know, come to Discord, chat, and all that good stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's get started on today's farm. Paint House 3 is a hard farm, so hopefully not too hard. Uh, let's see. So there's a row of M houses in a small city. Each house must be painted in one of the N colors, one to N. Some houses painted last time, which might paint again. Okay. A neighborhood is a maximal. Okay, so. Okay. Given an uh, M by N matrix, I always return. Change this to R and C just because it's just for me. Let me know what you use, but I always change it to R and C, staying for rows and columns. Sometimes I just change it to rows and columns, but lately I've been doing R and C. Uh, so it's clear which one is, you know, because the lo lo notation is always a little bit weird. Okay. Uh, and an integer target where house sub I is the color of of the house I and zero of the house is not painted yet. Cost of I J is the cost of painting house I with J plus one. Why J plus one? Oh, because the colors are from one to N. Okay. We turn the minimum cost of painting all remaining house in such a way that they're exactly target neighborhoods. Okay. So this feels to me like dynamic programming just because it feels like th there's no greedy solution or like that, maybe that's not true. Maybe some of it is by feel, and when I say feel, it may sound very hand, you know, hand wavy. But for me, you know, keeping in mind that right now I probably have solved, I don't know, like in my life, like eight thousand problems, ten thousand problems. I don't even know anymore, right? Maybe not all of it is difficult. Not all of it is deliberate learning. But still, you know, sometimes you're, you're, you know, uh, there's a subconscious or something like this that uh, solves it, and I have to articulate it, right? So that's my first impression. And then the second thing is that if there's greedy, I have to think about proof. So that's what I would think about. Uh, and then the, the next thing to confirm is just uh, looking at the constraints. And then now, what does the constraints mean to me? So R is 100 and C is you go to 20. Hmm. Wait, what does this mean again? Uh, okay. I think I got confused a little bit because I think when I saw R times C matrix, uh, that, okay, so maybe this isn't R and C. Uh, so I, I I said all that stuff for no reason, but but it's still confusing to use M and N. So okay, what is M? M is houses, so I'm going to use H, and and N is color, so I'm going to use C. Okay, so this actually becomes much easier. I was being stupid because um, I was thinking that you have a matrix of neighborhood or something like that. Even though reading out loud doesn't make sense. So apologies, I was confused, but now it feels even more so that it is dynamic programming, right? Because now. Let's think about the states. That's what I would think about for, for dynamic programming. And look at the constraint. H is less than 100 or less or equal to 100. Uh, C is less than you go to 20. What does that mean, right? Um, and we know that we, are, we want to have neighborhoods target, and target is going to be less than 100. So that means that immediately, in a very naive way, we'll think about this. And, and we'll think about what I want to do here. But... So, I, but I, my state was going to be something like, um, and go is just me, you know, maybe eh, min, uh, get min, maybe something like that. Um, so then now we want to, what are our states, right? Our states, my initial uh, uh, just guess, it's going to be one on houses, meaning which index house you're in. So I'm just going to write index, uh, maybe H index, depending on how I want to do it. Uh, and then maybe the last color, because the um, and then the number of neighborhoods. Um, and that's kind of my my first impression because I think that these are the these allow me to solve the problem. I don't know that this is good enough yet, because maybe we need to make another optimization or something like this. But I know that this will be because this this will be this will give me a correct solution. I don't know if this fast enough solution, right? So this is where I'm going to think about. And also, why is this good? Why why did I bring into that? Because okay, so so my my assumption is that here, 
it, when we get to the end, well, index is equal to n, neighborhoods is equal to target, and then we're, we're happy, right? Um, and then the last color is what we needed because the last color allow us to determine whether um, Yeah, the last color will let us determine whether we need to create a new neighborhood or not, right? So that's basically the idea. And of course, there are some additional things we have to check for, 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 um, for house, like for constraints, because we can't paint every house, but that's pretty straightforward. So I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so, okay, so first, let me try to do an analysis, right? What is index? Index can go from zero to 100, like in the worst case, so that, that's what we're going to have. Last color can be up to 20, so that should be good. Though I would also say, hmm, okay, never mind. I was going to say something that you, there's probably like a greedy-ish thing here with, with choosing like, because you may probably only need like three or four colors or something like this, but but that that's an optimization. I don't think we need this optimization. I could be wrong. And then neighborhoods, if I could spell correctly, is less than 100, right? So as we always do time complexity, total time is equal to, um, you know, time per input times total inputs, right? And so total inputs is going to be roughly equal to H times C times target, um, you know, I mean, my, my whatever. And that is roughly equal to 100 times 20 times 100, which is what, like 200,000 or something like this? Let me double check because I've been, I've been like off by one, Okay, yeah, so that's like roughly 200,000 inputs, um, right? And then for each input, how much work are we doing, right? Well, so there are different ways you can do it, but just to be a naive brute force for each index, we can, we can choose every color, so that's going to be O of C, right? So each input will take O of C, so that means that total time is equal to, roughly speaking, O of H times C squared times T, right? Um, and that, of course, is 200,000 times 20 for... It, Oops, which is you go to roughly 4 million, which should be fast enough because we're doing really basic operations, but it is on the edge of kind of, you know, tight, but that's that's my thought process and that should be okay. Um, there's also like some random optimizations you can do, but, uh, but I think this is probably, um, you know, okay for me to get started and then see if it's too slow, then we'll get to it. But that's basically the idea and... I know that a lot of the time I skip to the coding uh, and, and then do the time complexity later, but honestly, in my head, I almost always do the time complexity first. So maybe I kind of mislead people at home and that is, you know, my mistake. Um, just double checking that I'm recording everything because definitely has made that mistake before. But in any case, so yeah. So now that I'm like, okay, 4 million, you know, times some cheap operations, I'm confident that at least I can give it a go. There is some nuance with Python being slow, so we'll see if it's too slow uh, in Python, but you know, that's the idea. And of course, maybe we can do this bottoms up if we really have to, but I'm gonna do it tops down for now, right? So now, now let's get a look at it, right? If index is equal to H, we're at the last house, so then we can return the cost, which is zero, if neighborhood is equal to target, right? I'm just gonna write this T keep it consistent otherwise this is not a possible um answer and then we want to return like infinity right because we don't want this to be a right answer and then here we can just i don't actually know the range but you want some really big numbers so 10 to the 4 it should be okay times 100 right um but yeah and then here we, we want to do impossible case basically if neighbor hoods is greater than t we also why did it go return infinity right otherwise i think we're okay so now here we go um and we'll do the caching later uh memorization later but now we go if houses of index is you go to zero then we do some some brute force things but let's actually skip ahead really quickly um so if it is not zero that means that now we have to check if houses of index is equal to last color, um, then, then basically we want to return get min of index plus one. The last color is going to be the same, so we can just do this. And then, yeah, neighborhoods, because it's the same. Otherwise, we return 
get men of um what did we say uh index plus one and then now because there's a different color we use the new color right and then we do neighbor can I spell it right i feel like i'm having trouble spelling neighborhood for some reason plus one because now we have a new neighborhood right it's a new start of a new neighborhood um and of course we do want to save this answer so um hmm. so then we maybe just rewrite it this way uh this is way awkward but it's a slightly we'll do the memorization next and you'll see why but then here um if that's the case then let's just choose every color right um and remembering that painting will have a cost so we go okay so for each color for current color maybe in uh in range of c if houses of index so actually no 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 so now we're painting houses of index to this last color or so the current color so if the current color is equal to last color we do the same thing right okay so we have answer is equal to infinity and then we return answer at the end of course if this is the case then answer is equal to min of the answer or if we painted this current color which is going to be index plus one um the i guess same thing so last color current color same thing and then neighborhoods right Otherwise, same idea as the other one. Then now we have to paint it a new color. So then we use current color uh, neighborhoods uh, plus one. Actually, I messed up something really quickly. I forgot the cost, but that's basically how you would set it up. Uh, yeah, I think this is right. Except for except for that last color. Okay, so I, I think we have to do this. Um, mm, yeah, it depends how you want to do set up the last color. Uh, should the last color be zero or whatever? It's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, so then we're here. We, we do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so then we want to make one plus C plus one because last color is whatever, right? Okay, cool. And then now because of painting, uh, and here we don't paint, but here we do paint. So we have to add the cost, which is just cost of, uh, what, is, what what is it again? I house, so index and then j color so current color minus one right uh same thing here because we're both painting it in both cases but you know just different color and then to kick it off we just have to return get min from the first house the last color we can just say zero because then in this case it'll never match um in both cases um yeah right Mm, I think this may match by accident, actually. This is, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so that here it is when house of index is greater than zero. So this will never, okay, just want to make sure. Uh, and then neighborhood is zero. Okay, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to run it real quick and then we'll do the memorization code, obviously. But, yeah. Okay, current cost is not... Define, do, do I mean current color? I do mean current color. You're right. Wow. When is the... Just typo things. Okay. Oh, did I forget a mod? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I forgot that I have to return negative one if it's not possible. I actually didn't realize that there's an impossible case. So I, I misread that. And I'm, I would have I would have screwed up there, to be honest. Um, but... Oh, no. Whoops. I would have screwed up there if that wasn't one of the cases, to be honest, but I'm um, glad that's the case. Okay, so it looks like it's okay. Um, the other thing I was like, I was like, I returned a big number, so maybe I had to mod something and forgot, but then I remember that, you know, I chose that infinity for that reason. It's the biggest and the highest possible cost. So this looks good. Of course, it's going to be too slow if you have too many colors and stuff like this. So this is where we add in memorization. Um, hopefully this is fast enough, fast enough. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So we're going to do, um, yeah, force times, uh, let's see, H. No, no, no. We want to do, uh, okay, T plus one for, do, 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 do. Uh, for, do, 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 do. What, what am I doing? Uh, C plus one. 
Three dimensional matrices I'm, I'm always get a little bit confused about, to be honest. Because, uh, I don't know. It just says, uh, I need to be a little bit. I mean, it is in Python, because in other languages, you just literally write it out, which is why it's a little bit weird. Anyway, so yeah, so we can write something like this. Oh, wait, I, I have to check for it first. That's what I was... Uh, a little bit sloppy here. Forgive me. Uh, I also walked for a long time today. So uh, I had a softball game earlier. Check out the Instagram store if you're curious about that. We lost, though, so spoiler alert. Um, but, yeah, so that's why I'm, like, just really physically tired. But, I mean, I had an okay game. I went two for three, if you care about it, um, with a one score good but but we lost so it doesn't matter how good i feel um yeah okay so this looks okay let's give it a quick submit hopefully it's not time limit exceeded but or or even worse wrong answer but yeah cool wow this is much slower than my last attempt maybe i did a bottoms up last time but yeah but that's pretty much all i have we already went over the complexity um I'm, i am let me just show you my code one more time and then i'm i'm curious how i did last time so yeah so this is just the beginning with the analysis of the setting up the cache. Um, and the idea behind, I know that I say this every time and I forgot it this time because maybe I'm a little bit rushing it, but the idea behind memorization and what I do with this cache stuff is that if for every possible, or uh, if the same input comes in, in, if you do the same input and you get the same output every single time, meaning that is deterministic, I guess, in a way, um, then I could cache it, right? Because it's not, the answer is not going to change next time. So that's what the idea behind memorization is. So yeah. Um, that's basically the idea here. Um, cool. This is the bottom half. I am curious very quickly. Did I do a bottoms up last time? Hmm. No, I did it the same way, but I used LRU cache instead. Um, yeah, but this is mostly the same idea. No, I did it in a more clever way, but I think this is more readable. So, yeah. Was this a contest? Did I do this during a contest or something? Or? Hmm. Maybe not. Okay. Oh no, I did during during contest. Um, I'm curious how I did that, like during live, because maybe my explanation wasn't so strong that time. Yeah. Okay, so I did this in like 13 minutes during the contest. That's fine. Um, but I, I I was slower on Q3, which you know. Oh, uh, this is sad because I think I just had off by one. Anyway, that's unrelated. Me just looking back and because uh, without those. 10 minutes eh, i guess i could have been okay i don't know anyway um just curious just me always looking at the past and see if i did a little bit better i think i did a little bit better this time i mean i spent 13 minutes last time this time obviously this real is 18 minutes but i also spent a lot of time talking so i think i did okay and i think that's you know some some of the idea is just being about clearer about your code because i didn't have to debug much if i have to guess if i spent 13 minutes on this problem last time i probably had some silly typo that i had to debug um because i don't think the way that i did it because i think i'm i knew how to do it pretty um early this time as well anyway that's all i have stay good stay healthy to mental health i'll see you later and take care bye bye